security when you are talking about security the first one is uh, defensive security defensive security defensive security so there we will be learning how to protect our networks how to harden our uh, servers how to harden our uh, networks and how to harden our routers firewalls we learn that so ec council is offering something called cnd computer network defender targeting defensive security right so that is how we are protecting our networks the second one is even if we protect our network even if you look at the uh, usual security or uh, national security or security of very important person vip person security so we try everything possible to prevent an attack so these are actually precautionary uh, actions so by defensive security we will be improving uh, defensive or protection security but even with that there can be certain cases where uh, we have to expect the unexpected so that's the reason if there is an uh, uh, you know an event right whenever these vips or very important persons are reaching the location they are coming with a team that are ready to take any kind of action so that's that, that, because we have to be ready because there can be any uh, there can be incident at any point of time right and then when it comes to security there is another one known as offensive security offensive security offensive security is mainly attacking hacking the reason is if you understand offensive security it's easy to protect our network because otherwise you are just uh, blindly trying to protect the network without knowing what kind of attacks that we can expect because of that if you know exactly type of attacks then you know how to protect in other words uh, to catch a thief uh, you need to think like a thief in order to think like a thief we need to understand thieves procedure process right how thief work and all that so that's the reason we need to understand or start thinking like a attacker or launch attacks then you would know what are the issues in your network or a system or what are the possible weaknesses in your system then it's easy to protect our environment right so offensive security teaches how to hack mainly how to hack so this is also known as vulnerability assessment and penetration testing now they are uh, students or the attendees will learn how you can attack so then if you know how to attack you can take action to protect your network so that is known as offensive security and even with this uh, you know capabilities there can be an events event is unexpected uh, you know uh, event or unexpected occurrence or oh, right so something like that so then what we will we'll have to do is we need to secure our environment plus you need to trace the uh, attacker trace back the attacker or if required we need to prosecute him in front of courts so this uh, this is known as forensic side of it forensic right forensic in the forensic we will learn how to trace back an attacker right and also there is a, a very uh, you know famous saying that uh, everyone enters to crime place leave something in the crime place and then taking something from the uh, crime location so that is i think i don't know who has said that uh, probably you know even sherlock holmes i think believe that so uh, if there is a crime right so this location is known as crime location so i think you may have seen even in the movies so first thing that they want to do is just protecting that crime scene so probably you have seen uh, you know the entry point is cancelled with yellow yellow and black color stripes saying that crime scene do, do not enter the reason is uh, the principle that i was uh, you know talking about so whoever according to that principle whoever enters to the crime scene right enters to the crime scene leaving something in the crime scene right so if somebody enters he will leave something including criminal including the person who's responsible for this crime will leave something and take something from the crime scene i'm not saying intentionally taken stuff let's say if they reach and they steal something i'm not talking about that 
but even unintentionally they might leave some stuff it can be even a single uh, hair right or it can be your slippers or it can be criminals uh, slippers or it can be criminals a bus ticket i think you have uh, heard about this kind of stories enough right so what it says is whoever enters to the crime scene uh, will you know keep something and take something from the crime scene so that's why it's really important to understand the importance of protecting crime scene so this is the crime scene so we need to protect and preserve uh, the evidences because if people start re, you know accessing this crime scene then what will happen is according to this principle let's say if 100 people re, sorry if 100 people comes to this crime scene which means they will keep 100 things in the uh, crime place and then they will take 100 stuff from the crime scene so that's what it says so because of that i think uh, uh, you know one of the main things to do is to protecting that crime scene uh, protecting in the sense of preventing anyone accessing the crime crime scene because there are so many evidences including your uh, including criminals uh, uh, fingerprints including some of the unintentionally left behind uh, stuff it can be even a bus ticket a small thing or even a, a hair or even uh, you know blood so anything like that so that can be useful uh, for us as a uh, investigators in this case to find out or trace uh, the victim uh, trace the uh, the culprit right so these are uh the sort of in general the stuff that we want to uh, understand and also uh, i think others can remember uh, the main elements of security again i will just recap uh, this one because then it is easy to understand the other area so when it comes to security there are three major elements that we discussed probably you might be uh, you might be clear about this stuff so confidentiality integrity availability always i'm talking about this the confidentiality is combination of identification identification or identity and verification right so identification and verification performed by uh, username and the password so identification and verification together form something called authentication authentication right authentication and once authenticated a system will be given according to the configuration uh, known as authorization 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 meaning now authentication is having a, a proper username and password combination authentication is having acceptable or valid username and password right but you need to understand even the people with valid username and password will not have same level of access for an example uh, uh, Tharumini can be a senior manager of the organization, so she will have more access. If Su Supun is a junior uh, a manager, he will have lesser access with compared to Tharumini. Let's say Abhinesh is the CEO or managing director for the company, so he will have a lot more access than everyone. So that is the authorization. So that is uh, may maintain or make sure uh, by security. And then when it comes to uh, for, uh, uh, you know defensive security we need to maintain or make sure or improve confidentiality right so then most of the attacks even i discussed during the uh, uh, ethical hacker program so most of these attacks are targeting uh, confidentiality integrity availability non-repudiation and uh, authenticity right now our forensic point of view uh, we can expect a lot of attacks every uh, you know events with regards to these areas because attacks are mainly when it comes to cyber security or it security they are targeting confidentiality it can be password hacking attempt or it can be malicious codes so they are sending a malicious code in order to compromise the security so then when it comes to investigation we need to trace back uh, the uh, the uh, attacker uh, using information gathered uh, from the crime scene so i hope you are clear about these areas and whenever you have questions please 